Welcome to the prayer for Tuesday. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself, speak it daily, or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon as touching you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there is no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for Tuesday. Thank God it's Tuesday. This is the day you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you for the second day of the week. Lord, it is not in the listener's own strength that they will live out this day, but it is you, all the while effectually at work in them. You are energizing and creating in them today, Tuesday, both to to will and to work for your good pleasure. Hallelujah. Remind them, Lord, that they were bought for a price and made your very own today. We call on you this second day of the week and know that you will deliver the listener and they shall honor and glorify you. Together, we rejoice in this prayer because you delivered them, the listener, and drew them to yourself out of the control and dominion of darkness and transferred them into the kingdom of the Son of your love. Praise you, Father. Right now, fresh and new, help the listener to offer their body as a living sacrifice. Again, holy and pleasing to you. You consider this a spiritual act of worship and you take delight and pleasure in it. Lord, help the listener not to turn back when facing tough situations today in fear. You have not given them a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We declare that the listener now starts to build their life empowered by Christ. We declare that Jesus is the center of their life. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that today the listener will organize their efforts, properly schedule their activities and meetings, and budget their time, Father, in a way that is pleasing and acceptable to you. Help them to do that in Jesus' name. Father, help the listener to cast all their cares, their worries, their anxieties on you. You've asked them to, that they might be well-balanced, temperate, sober-minded, vigilant, and cautious at all times today. We thank you that your grace today on Tuesday is sufficient for every situation, every situation they face today. Glory. Where the listener is weak, Father, you are strong. Thank you for the listener's family and friends again today. We ask you to guide the listener in these relationships, Father. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood over their family and friends. We call their family protected and prospered in Jesus' name. We bind and rebuke sickness in the listener's family. We command it to go in Jesus' name. We call their family healed, whole, and restored in the precious name of Jesus. Praise you, Lord. We look to you as their source. We ask you to grant the family wisdom and favor in Jesus' name. We declare that they are ever increasing in life in Jesus' name. For those family and friends who do not know you, we call the blindfolds that are covering their eyes removed in Jesus' name. We ask that laborers cross their path to witness the good news of the gospel to them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Show the listener, Father, which friendships to keep and which ones to let go of. We know that there is power in association and declare that the listener associates, spends time with those people who are pleasing to you, Father. Help the listener to establish priorities. We confess and praise you, O Lord, with our whole heart, and we will glorify your name forevermore. We lift up the gifts and talents you have given the listener. Help them to develop them today, Father. They are before your feet. Do with them as you please. Praise you for Tuesday, Father. Thank you for this day. Help the listener to make use of the gifts and talents according to the grace given to them. The listener will let their light so shine before men that they will see their moral excellence and their praiseworthy, noble, good deeds today on Tuesday and recognize, honor, praise, and glorify you, Lord. The listener's life will lovingly express truth in all things. And whatever they do in word or deed, Father, they will do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, completely depending upon him today. Help them to renew their mind by the word of God. 
We bind and cast down all thoughts, Father, that oppose the truth of God. All those negative thoughts. We rebuke them, Father. Help the listener now to loose those bad thoughts, emotions, and impulses, to take charge of their mind and to cast down those thoughts. That's not who they are in Christ. Help them to hold fast thoughts that are Christ-centered. In Jesus' name, we clear the listener's mind of every distraction and bad stronghold. We declare that their ears are open and receptive to your words of wisdom. Their heart is set on understanding, and they live God-inside-minded. Their life is complete in Christ. Thank you for sending Jesus so that the listener can have an abundant life. This day, it's a day that you've made. And we rejoice, Father, on all the good changes, God, that are occurring in the listener's life, Father. You are working with them and things are changing. To obey is better than sacrifice. So the listener submits to your will today. They lay their plans and purposes at your feet, Father, that they may be conducted in a manner, whatever they do, that brings honor and glory to you. Help the listener to be spiritually and mentally alert at this time in their life. We decree and declare that the listener is living purposefully. You've given us all a seven-day week. Help them to make the most of the time today, Father, buying up each opportunity. Help them to plan their Tuesday and to stay focused on their tasks. Thank you for your protection this day. Thank you, Father, for the angels that you've commanded concerning them and their family to guard them in all their ways. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus over the listener and declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Thank you for your faithfulness to the listener day by day for helping them to become all that you desire them to be. We decree and declare that the relationships in the listener's life are profitable. Help them to know how much time to spend with each person, Father, if at all, in Jesus' name. We declare that the listener operates supernaturally today by your indwelling spirit. Praise you for the Holy Spirit. They will live today again with outstanding accuracy and excellence. Thank you, Father, that your love never ends and your mercy never stops. It's overflowing in the listener's life and pouring out into the lives of others. You are loyal to the listener. We decree and declare that the company the listener works for and or the business they own or the investments they uh, that you provide in their lives through whatever it may be, whatever combination of those things, we declare that they are blessed. We declare profitability over them today. Give the listener and the company, Father, they may work for leadership, wisdom to run the company with efficiency in Jesus' name. Help the listener to do their very best at work uh, as well as life. Help them to give 100% when working at their company or anything they may put their hand to today in Jesus' name. Help them to be the most valuable worker possible. Show them how to be sensitive to the needs of their co-workers and responsive to the desires of their employer or their customers or their vendors, Father. We decree and declare in Jesus' name that they perform their duties with a spirit of excellence. They not only do what is required, but beyond that which is required of them, that they may be a blessing to others and an asset to all those they come in contact with today, Father, whether at work or at home or wherever they may go. They will do and fulfill all their responsibilities to the best of their ability in Jesus' name. Help them, Father, to refuse to try and impress anyone, but to do their job, their tasks, as effectively as possible as unto you. Help them to be hardworking and trustworthy in all their dealings. We declare that they are successful. Lord, they endeavor, the listener endeavors to create and maintain good relationships with their co-workers, their superiors, their customers, their neighbors, their family, their friends, whoever, whoever, Father, they may come in contact with. We decree and declare that whatever their hand touches, that it will be with complete honesty and a full-out effort. Father, we know that promotion comes from you. Thank you that according to your word, the faithful will be rewarded and they will abound with blessings. We declare this over the listener now in Jesus' name. Thank you that the listener's attitude, commitment, performance on the job or in life, Father, will become obvious to those for whom they work and that recognition, benefits, blessings, raises, all those good things, Father, will follow and chase them down. Thank you that you are showing yourself strong on the listener's behalf. We call upon you, Almighty God, and you are faithful. We ask you in this moment to give the listener strength, knowledge, wisdom, and ability truthfully beyond human limits. We praise you, mighty God, for you are awesome. And you can do anything. Nothing is too hard for you. You can do far more than we could ever imagine or dream or even request of you in this prayer. Just according to the power that works in us. 
Thank you again for Tuesday, Lord. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.